Hi, I'm Vinny Fisher. I'm an entrepreneur, husband, dad, friend. I'm here to talk to you today about you know, a question I get all the time. How do I always seem to be happy or in a positive mood? You know, happy is a tough one, right? So I'm not gonna really go there today. But I wanna talk to you about this idea of positive mood, um, a positive set mindset of thinking. You know, how do you get there? How do you more consistently have a positive mindset of thinking uh, that doesn't always lead negative or have a substantial amount of negative thinking, but uh, is more pervasive that you're positively thinking, not negatively thinking? I want to help you with that. Um, I'm always um, wondering about, and thankful actually, about this purposeful effort of having uh, um, a positive mindset. So. I think before we get there, I want to talk about you know, this idea of having um, a negative mindset. Well, where does it come from? You know, we just don't want one. I don't think people inherently want to have a negative mindset. I think you have one, and it's you know, it's pretty obvious to me. And I think if you think about it for a moment or two, it's probably obvious to you. Uh, you've been trained that way. You, know, you watch the news. You uh, participate in talking in conversations with people who always want to gossip or talk about things that aren't uplifting or, or truthful or noble or praiseworthy. They want to talk about things that are, you know, downbeating or, or downtrodden. They want to talk about things that, you know, beat other people up and maybe they lift themselves up in the process. Um, you know, they're, they're surrounded by people who think that way. You know, one of the things that I've always been amazed by is someone who wants to be thinking positively but is either the person who's themselves the negative talker and thinker or worse, uh, they're surrounding themselves with people who think that way uh, and there's an easy solution to that. And so, uh, you know, negative thinking is an effort. Right, uh, it 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 does happen over time. Your brain has been trained to think negatively. So when you start thinking about you know actions that are uh, you know negative in nature, the news, uh, fights and conflicts you've had with people, uh, bad business decisions, um, a, a, a situation where maybe your mom or dad, when you were a child, uh, caused some embarrassment to you, uh, we quickly. Uh, go back into situations because of the environment or the situation we're in and we think a certain way. You know, our brain is uh, plans to think like that. Uh, it, it, it knows that because it's, it's been trained that way. So, you know, negative thinking, you know, so what? Why, what does it matter? You know, does it really matter? You know, I get asked that question as part of this process. And you know, it's been linked that negative thinking uh, causes um, lots of issues in your life. You know, it's been significantly studied that people who have a pattern of negative thinking uh, ha are sicker. Their health is worse. You know, they're more likely to be immune, less immune to uh, fight off disease. Uh, they're going to be more likely to get sick on a regular basis. So if nothing else, negative thinking, thinking leads to sicker people. Yeah, I said that. Uh, worse relationships, you know, um, look to people who have good, strong relationships. And I would suggest to you that that relationship or those people uh, use more opportunities to think about uh, positive aspects of the relationship and not the negative parts of it. And so, you know, you're going to have less quality relationships when you have a pattern of negative thinking. Um, business, um, you know, it's, it's often, I, I'm in the business world, I see it all the time, uh, clients, friends, um, colleagues are always wondering why, you know, someone like myself or maybe even other uber successful people are, are, are successful. And I, I would turn it and say, what about the people who aren't successful? Is there a common denominator to uh, the lack of success and to negative thinking? And I would say so. You know, ne negative thinking can get really bad, it clinically bad. You know, it can lead to depression. Um, you know, if you already are someone who likes to be possibly by yourself or as an introvert, you know, you would struggle mightily with um, isolation. Uh, you would, there in those moments, you start to let your mind, while you're isolated, be filled with whatever pattern or behavior you're used to. So, you know, there you're going to be very susceptible to um, 
um, feeling like you're alone. Uh, you're left to uh, defend your mind against yourself. All right, so you know we, we've kind of talked about this. Negative thinking is is an action. It's actually probably purposeful. We've um, we've thought about things. We've we've actually um, we have watched the news. We've conditioned ourselves to think about this stuff. Um, and so. If, if a negative thought process or negatively thinking on a regular basis is an action, it's a purposeful action, uh, even if we don't realize how purposeful of an action it is, it is one. So uh, the inverse of that, positive thinking is also an action. And so, you know, as part of this, I'm always asked, you know, like I said earlier, you know, how do you think positively? And so it goes within itself that's purposeful action. Right, so what do you do for about thinking positively? Well, you know, for me it's about renewing my mind, renewing your thinking. So you need to take control or captive of your thoughts. You know, how do you do that? Well, you know, I think I want to talk a little bit about this idea of taking control of it. Like you can literally be driving down with your active thinking brain and be thinking about this, you know, something negative in your life. You can choose right there to take a control of those thoughts right in that very moment. Um, it can be done. And so how do you do it? Well, you got to discipline your mind. And so this idea that when you know you start to think of negative, um, it's, it's not really, you know, whether you're going to have negative thoughts or not. You know, it's this spiral. You start spiraling into an effect. You know, so you want to create a positive spiral. At a minimum, stop the negative thinking. So this renewing of your mind is to focus on something uh, positive or to realize that you're focusing on negative and, and, and flood your mind with truthful, praiseworthy, um, absolute and noble things. Things that are honorable in your life and are, are worthy of, of, of those thoughts. And you know, when you do that, you're going to start to have a positive ratio of thoughts. Do this like right away. And how do you do it? Like when you see yourself like having this negative spiral, and what is that, right? That's piling like a negative thought on top of a negative thought. You know, if you have a ratio of having a lot of negative thoughts, you just imagine yourself kind of like a water, like a whirlpool, like you're spiraling down to, in the sink, and you there you are spiraling down. Well, Certainly, I think it goes without argument that if you have more and more negative thoughts, your spiral down is going to lead you to all the things I talked about. Bad health, bad relationships, um, isolation, depression. We want to stop that. The amazing way I've discovered in my life to do that is to have a positive ratio of thoughts. You know, to stop the negative thinking, not by focusing on the negative thinking, but to flood my mind with positive thoughts. You know, I'm not, I'm really not going to say to you that I have an absolute 100% ratio of positive thoughts. It's just not realistic. You know, uh, we, we're going to have negative thoughts. You know, in, in business, you know, what happens in business? You worry about the deals you're doing. Did you cash flow correctly? Did you make the right decision on some of your marketing decisions? Are your customers happy with the product? You know, your marriage, you know, where can I go there? You know, we, we fight. We, we have conflict. You think about those things. You know, all the relationships. My dad, um, my mom, my sister, my brother. You know, these are relationships. You're friends. You're going to have thoughts. You know, just the other day, it was the end of my year, right? So all kinds of things were happening. I was uh, getting ready for Christmas and our family and a wonderful time to celebrate the precious gift uh, that we were given. And during that time, I'm ending our business year. Uh, we're worrying about making sure all of our expenses are in line, that we have properly allocated for the end of the year, uh, that we are cash flowing the way we want to, that we've properly projected and think about next year. And so what happens? A few things go wrong. You know, family members, our expectations don't line up. Uh, all of a sudden, I started having these issues. I, st I was there laying in bed thinking about, holy cow, is the year going to end right? What happens if, you know, the holiday doesn't go as planned? Are the kids, you know, are they going to be more anxious to just ripping open presents or celebrating the, the true meaning of the season? It started happening to me. And, and I was thankful right there to identify it. And I was able to work through it. And so I slowed down. I, I prayed about it. 
I, 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 in my way, I kind of thought through my prayer and meditation about positive things real quickly. I started thinking about just how awesome it is to have a family to celebrate Christmas with and uh, that I even have the problems in business to work through uh, for the year end. And so just doing that right there, it stopped this pattern of a spiral. It, it allowed me to start thinking about uh, more in, enlightened and enriching things that immediately started changing my attitude. You know, negative thoughts are real. You know, a few years ago, my mom died. And, um, you know, sometimes it's real hard to talk about. You know, you lose your mom and it's, uh, it, it brings on all kinds of emotions. And, and they weren't all positive, right? I lost my mom. It's a relationship I can't replace. Uh, so I had to start working through that. You know, while that was happening, I started evaluating whether was I, you know, I didn't expect her to die the way she did. It was sudden. Uh, was I, am I a good son? You know, did I do all I could do? Did I call her enough? Did, um, you know, did I, did I go out of my way to tell her I love her? You know, even, you know, I'm not saying my mom and I had a perfect relationship, uh, and I don't know whether, what kind of relationships you have, but, you know, I could have done some things and done a better job. Well, I started just thinking about all the things I could have done and should have done, and not really focused on the things I did do or the things we did have in our relationship. And so, that spiral got nasty, like during this mourning phase of my mom. And, you know, I remember during my prayer time, like stopping and be like, this is getting ridiculous. This is getting out of control. Like I started feeling anxious in my chest and I started genuinely feeling upset. This stuff happening. And as I started thinking more and more about my mom, it, it, it really, it really pulled me out of this spiral. You know, it's like this renewing of your thinking, you know. And so I always say to people, you know, that day I started being, you know, focusing on something different, right? I didn't try to block the negative thinking out. You know, the best way to get rid of negatives is to, is to focus on some positive stuff, you know? And so I'm asked, like, what stuff do you focus on? And, I, and the best thing I've learned in all the things I've done is to, is, I call it having a gratitude attitude, but just start focusing on the things you're grateful for. Like, I was grateful for the, my mom and all the years that she had. I was grateful that there were siblings in my family and uh, that we have a family. And I started just being grateful. And, and, and this is huge. You know, it immediately stops uh, the spiraling down and it allows me to get my thinking under control. And then it also, like, really, um, starts allowing you to actually have a more fulfilled, promising outlook in the way you think about things. You know, and this just doesn't immediately fix everything. You know, your brain is, is, is established a pattern of thinking. And if you're someone who's been prone to think about, um, you know, negative thinking, then you're going to do that. And, uh, you know, it's... It's a pattern, it's a behavior. Your mind is a powerful, powerful muscle. And if, if left to its own devices, you know, it's like we said earlier, you know, negative thinking is a purposeful action. So much so, if you've done it over time, your mind has established a, a way of thinking. You know, and it, it doesn't really want to change. It, it takes effort to change. Your mind will quickly want to go back to an easy route or the path of least resistance. And so, you know, this takes time. So gratefulness, having a gratitude attitude, is a great way to stop negative thinking. It's also a great way to start the day so that your mind is prepared to think about positive things. Um, but you need to do this on a regular basis. You know, there are plenty of experts out there, uh, and I've experienced it in my life, who say that this purposeful behavior uh, to, to, to grab hold and to really renew um, it's transforming, but to, to, to go through that transformative process, you know, it's, it's not a day. You know, it's something more than a day. You know, the experts say somewhere 30 to 60 days, and I would challenge you that every day, it, 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 you need to keep doing it. It's, this renewing takes effort. And so, you know, I have a, a, a thing I do, and it's just a card, and um, it kind of helps me think about... Um, me and it's like daily affirmations and so every day I wake up I uh, I write down I have a black book I kind of it's my idea book you know I don't know if I journal or I just throw ideas but in my black book every day I, I don't date it I don't it's just kind of my own little artistic scratch down ideas book well in there every day I 
I take time to think about the three things I'm most grateful for for yesterday. Uh, and it, uh, it's amazing how it starts my day. But you know, I, I've, I've, like anyone else, I've had things happen over time. So I kind of came up with like a daily affirmation card. A good friend of mine uh, who teaches things on this, uh, John, John Asaraf, talked about this idea of, of helping to think into your mind uh, this, you know, what you want your mind thinking about. And so I started over time doing just some daily affirmations. And so, you know, I, I remind myself of the things that I do and with all the noise and all the clutter. I live each day with passion and purpose. I'm a success in all that I do. I'm committed, determined, and passion in whatever I do. I'm a committed and loving follower of Jesus. I meditate daily and stay in focus and sync with all of my success. I am totally confident. I even get accused of that all the time. And I'm going to stay right there. Um, you know, I do achieve my goals and dreams. Uh, I'm an excellent motivator and business person. I say these things. I've got a bunch more and, you know, I've come out with some stuff you'll see in my blog and a book that I've published where I talk about this and I've given it to you. I've actually provided it for you. But what I want to encourage you with today is this idea that, you know, do something like this. Speak into your mind some daily exercises, some affirmations, and you will see uh, a really uh, an amazing thing take place in your life. Negative thinking uh, can cause so many issues in your life. And, and the trick is not to not think about negative thinking. Your mind's so powerful it'll go back there. The real uh, tactic here is to put your mind into positive thinking mode, to actually proactively renew your mind, uh, take capture your thoughts, and fill your mind with positive, enriching, truthful, honorable, praiseworthy, uplifting thoughts. Take that time today. I encourage you. Take that time every day. Renew your thinking. Stop now, right after this video is done. Right after you're done liking this video, because you loved it if you did. And right after you're done sharing this video. Right after you're done subscribing to our channel, because boy, I'd love to share more with this with you. And that, that's a way to help us. You know, do something positive for us today. Do that. But after all that, take some time for yourself. And think and be grateful for the things you have. Have a great day.